Alright, Shalom, first and foremost, all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh. By Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakaq Dash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders, a great millstone of all wealth, blessings to the whole for the elect. Teaching this word in all sincerity and in truth, man. Helping feeding the flock. Alright, helping to shine that light, eh? Because the scriptures speak about no man that have a, uh, a light or a candle uh, and hide it for under a bushel, man. Alright? You, you ain't supposed to be hiding this light, which is the word, alright, under no bushel. The scriptures tell you in John the first chapter that Yahweh Shai, he was uh, sent to bear witness of that light. Alright? The will of the Heavenly Father, man. Alright? And basically, the light is the scriptures, man. Alright? The light is the scriptures, and basically, we gotta shine, we gotta shine the wisdom understanding of that light in these dark crevices in this dark society, man. Like that film Dark City. <laughs> like you got that film Dark City, an old type film. You got a bunch of dark elites ruling over some ruling over some city, man, and it's bare dark, man. You know? And basically what, what you got is a bunch of demons today running around in the crevices of the earth, right? In the corners of the earth, getting up to dark deeds, getting up to homosexuality, alright, getting up to uh pedophilia uh, pedophilia, alright, getting up to um, all kinds of manners of wickedness, eating pork, shrimp, you know. Celebrating uh, Christmas, Easter, you know, worshiping Caesar Borgia, worshiping idols in all different religions, and the Lord is basically coming to put an end to all that. Okay, and that's nothing but dark deeds. The scriptures tell you that men love darkness rather than light. All right, this, 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 the light is shining unto the world. All right, the scriptures speak about, and what inspired me to do this video is Apostle Kabar's video, his latest one, man. You know, speaking about the light and, and darkness, man. All right, and basically what it is is, hey, the light is always going to be stronger than the dark, brothers, man. All right, okay, you can't have that darkness piercing through the light, but you can definitely have light piercing through darkness, cutting straight through it, man. A beam of light, all right, and that's what the scriptures does, and that's why these people, all right, when we when we shine the light on their dark deeds, especially, hey, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, the Israelites, all right, the tribes of Israel. That's why they, they, they don't like it Because they're like I mean, you know If you ever cast your mind back When you when you used to go to school Especially in the winter time When it used to be dark out You know, you're heading out early And it was kind of dark out You know, your mum would come in the room Draw the curtains Right If there was a little bit of light coming through Right Or she'd turn on a light Main thing was turning on a light Come on, get ready for school You'd be like, oh just Turn on the light Because, you know When you've been in darkness for so long When the light shine on you You... you you kind of shy away from it. You're like, oh, turn it off. You know, you don't really like it too tough because you got you got to have time to come around, right? You just woken up, all right? And that's the same thing with these with these niggas out here that are getting up to their dark deeds, man. You know, under under the covers, you know, being homosexuals and and you know eating shrimp and pork, committing adultery under the covers, man. Heavy breathing. Don't, they don't want their dark deeds Hey man, the scripture says Arise, shine for thy light is come, man Okay And even in Thessalonians Hey, Paul spoke about it, man To the Israelites in Thessalonica He's telling them, look man But ye brethren are not in darkness That that they should overtake you as a thief Because when you read up verses above I think it's uh, 1 Thessalonians, the 5th chapter Alright uh, Or is it 2 Thessalonians I think it's 1 Thessalonians, the 5th chapter the scriptures, uh, Paul was saying, uh, he was saying, um, when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction come up upon them. All right, and that day is going to overtake them as a thief in the night. Loosely paraphrasing. All right, because they ain't looking for the return of Yahweh Shai, man. All right, they ain't looking for the one that bear witness of the light. All right, they ain't trying to follow the ways of Yahweh Shai. In fact, they 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 spat on Yahweh Shai. They said, kill him. And let his blood be upon us and upon our children. They hated Yahweh Shai. So if they hated Yahweh Shai, the scriptures say in John 7 and 7, the world cannot hate you, but me it hateth, because I testify of it that the works thereof are evil. Alright? And that's what we're supposed to be doing. That's why look, man, that's why we make these videos constantly. Because the works that are in this world are fucking evil, man. And we gotta we gotta speak out against it. Because if we don't do it, brothers, if we don't shine that light. Who else going to do it? You going to leave it to IUIC? You going to leave it to them to them Israelite camps that, that take breaks in the wintertime? You going to leave it, man? Hey, man, the scriptures say, look, 
The Lord told Peter, if you love me, feed my sheep, man. All right? The feet gonna go, the fit, hey, the sheep gonna go hungry if you leave it to them other guys. That's why, hey, man, we say shalom to the sincere brothers teaching this word. Because you gotta be sincere in this, man. You know? Sincerely wanted to teach this word, sincerely wanted to feed the flock, man. Now, that's what this is about. All right? But back in, uh, you know, speaking on uh, what Paul said, and he was talking about, look, man, that day overtaking you as a thief. Hey, but you brethren are not in darkness, all right? We ain't on the darkness, in darkness because the light, hey, arise, shine for that light has come. That light is this word, man, all right? And the glory of the Lord is seen upon us. Why? Because look, we're supposed to be a beacon of light for men, all right? For the Israelite men, all right? And, and the other nations, they're supposed to look at us and be like, oh man, such a wise and understanding people. Right? And that's how it's going to be in the kingdom. We're going to literally be like that beacon of light. Like, you know, you got Batman, right? And whenever there's a, uh, the city, of, hey, that's spiritual because the city of Gotham is constantly always dark, man. It's always dark. But when there's trouble brewing, what what, what shines in the, in the in the night sky? That beacon of light. Letting you know, hey, shit, man. Judgment's coming for them fucking demons, man. All right? And really, hey, Batman's carnal. We ain't carnal. All right? We ain't going to, you know, the scripture says, wait ye upon me. We ain't about to exact vengeance right now on our enemies, man, on, on the two thirds of our nation that are fucking up for us, man. But at the same time, hey, we're bearing witness of the light. And they can't, look, man, they can't deal with the fact that that beacon is shining because they know that their time is coming, man. They know that they, hey, they know that basically, they know that um, their, their wicked deeds are being uh, uh, exposed. When we shine the light on them and they don't like it, brothers. And the scripture speaks about the word being sharper than any two-edged sword as well, man. So it cuts them, all right? The scriptures speak about, what, Jeremiah 5 and 14? The word being a, 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 a flame. I will make these people wood and your words, in, and your words, my words in your mouth, fire. And it shall devour them and consume them, all right? We're turning people to stubble with this word, man. We're slicing and dicing people up like... You know, like water cutting these niggas, man. That's how we're doing with the word. We ain't carnal. The scripture says the uh, weapons of our warfare are not carnal, right? But mighty through Yahweh, through the pulling down the strongholds. And that's what we use, man, to pull down the strongholds of Esau's fucked up society, man. All right? The scriptures tell you about the turning of things upside down, man. That's why, hey, and we are living in a dark realm where everything's turned upside down, man. All right? Now, now you know, it, it, it's, 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 uh, it's, it's, it's not, it's frowned upon to have more than one wife. Polygamy, man. All right? When the scripture is actually, hey, the scripture says, if thou hast more than one wife, hey, then you know, there's certain things that you're supposed to do in the law to up, to maintain. You gotta, you know, you, you gotta take care of them women. You gotta have substance, you know? The scriptures speak about all of them kind of things, man. The scriptures speak about the land Sabbath. The devil don't follow that. Here it is. We got a manual, all right, to, to, in how to run the work, to run the earth. In a perfect way, in harmony, and then this the so-called white man, Psalms 50 and 16. But unto the wicked, the most high saith, "What has thou to do to declare us my statutes in thy mouth?" Loosely paraphrasing, and cast instructions behind him. He, he'd rather put fucking, he'd rather put uh, sunflower oil in a petrol car to run it, man. And that's what he's doing to the earth. He's fucking things up. And this earth is, hey man, it's run by a dark leader, man. All right. The scriptures speak about as the judge of the people is, so shall the people be. You know, that's why a lot of people are into fucking homosexuality and and, and you know going and marching uh, uh, marching down the street talking about gay pride, trying to do uh, 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 trying to break world records for sex orgies in the LA Sin City because this place is dark, brothers, and we gotta shine this light, man. All right, it's not enough for us to just take that candle and hide that light under a bushel, man. What good is it under there? Didn't the Lord said he was going to search Jerusalem with candles, man? The candle bears light. All right, we're supposed to be searching Jerusalem with candles, man, and seek those that are like-minded unto us. If Lord willing, we be those men, all right? That's what we're supposed to be doing. Constant, man, preaching the word, instant. Let, hey, let your loins be girded and your lights burning. Does not the scripture say that, man? You know? And, and this ain't given to everybody, man, all right? Not everyone can come to the light. Hey, we're in this truth though, right? We're, you're supposed to be like a moth to a flame, man. All right? You're supposed to be coming to this light constantly, man. You're supposed to be always surrounded by the light. You know? So yeah, man. You know, that, you know just some, a, a few words of, you know, condemning this wicked our society, this dark city. You know? 
a few words of encouragement, you know, through the spirit. You know, Lord willing, you know, you know, the flock has been fed. You know, and, that, and that's that's the job that we've got to do, man. Sincerely feed the flock, do this work, man, and preach the word. Shine that light, man, you know? In sincerity, man, because hey, we've got to curse this place out, man. Like I said, if we don't do it, who's going if we don't shine that light, who gonna shine it, man? Alright, like that song, this little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. You remember that song, man? Well, we're supposed to let that light shine, brothers, man. You know? Let that light shine, bro. You know? And to be honest, man, hey, I've got a thing about light, man. I love the light, man. You know, I like, I wanna make, I wanna make a fire, man. I wanna learn how to make a fire and all of the, that's a personal thing that I've been meditating on recently, man. You know, um, working with the elements, man. That's the kind of shit, bro. Hey, man, there's something, there's something powerful and potent about light, man. You know, why is the scriptures described as light? You gotta ask that, man. Why was Moses' face shining when he came down from Mount Sinai, man? There's something about that light, brothers, man. There's something about the light, all right, that dark niggas can't, they can't deal with, man. And the light separates uh, 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 the dark deeds from the righteous deeds, man, you know? The light, the light shines uh, on, on, on everything. It, it makes you see clearly, man. And we are supposed to be seers, man. We're supposed to have that light in order to be able to see. But not everyone can see what we see, brothers. Not everyone can see what we see, man. We see Yahweh Shire coming with them angels, man. We see Esau's kingdom crumbling before his eyes, man. We see it all, man. We see the devils and the tricks. We see the, uh, what he's really doing, GMO foods and the, and the chemtrails and the vaccinations. We see his dark deeds. We ain't getting fooled by the ways of the serpent, all right? We gotta shine that light on his dark deeds, man, and, and, and curse this place out. That's what we gotta be doing. Pierce that darkness, man. Penetrate that darkness with a light, you know? Hey, so that's it, man. You know, I don't wanna make this too long, man. Um, you know, Lord willing, you are him, you know, we're edified. Because that's what we do this for. The scripture says, let all things be done unto edification of the church, man. All right? So with that, man, I must just say, yeah, man. You know, all praises to you. How about Shai? Double honor to the apostles and the elders. Shalom, shalom, man. Shalom.